wiki whispers. Today we're looking at the Wikipedia article for the baritone saxophone. Okay, here we go. The baritone saxophone, or Barry Sax, is one of the larger members of the saxophone family only being smaller than the bass, contrabass, and subcontrabass saxophones. It is the lowest pitch saxophone in common use. The baritone saxophone uses a mouthpiece, reed, and ligature in order to produce sound. It is larger than the tenor, alto, and soprano saxophones, which are the other commonly found members of the family. The baritone saxophone is commonly used in concert bands, chamber music, military bands, jazz, such as big bands, and jazz concerts. It also is occasionally employed in marching bands, though less frequently than other saxophones due to its size and weight. History The baritone saxophone was created in 1846 by the Belgian instrument maker Adolf Sax as one of a family of 14 instruments created to be a tonal link between the woodwinds and brasses, which Sax believed to be lacking. The family was divided into two groups of seven saxophones, each from the soprano to the contrabass. The family consisting of saxophones ranged in the keys of B flat and E flat were more successful because of their popularity in military Barry Sax, pitched in E flat, is the fifth member of this family. Description The baritone saxophone, like other saxophones, is a conical tube of thin brass. It has a wider end flared to form a bell, and a smaller end connected to a mouthpiece. The baritone saxophone uses a single reed mouthpiece, like that of a clarinet. There is a loop in the neck to reduce it to a practical height. Baritone saxophones come in two sizes, with one ranging to low A and the other to low B flat. Originally, all baritones were low B flat instruments, but over time, players began modifying their horns to reach the low A below the staff. In the eight, 1980s, it became common for saxophone manufacturers to produce low A instruments. In modern times, a low A is considered standard and is often written in sheet music for the instrument. Despite the ubiquity 
of the low A horn. Some players still prefer to use B flat horns because of the added weight and less crisp sound of low A horns. As with other modern saxophones, most are manufactured with a high F sharp key. The baritone saxophone's relatively large mass, 11 to 12 pounds, or 5 to 9.1 kilograms, depending in large part on the horn's age, has led to the development of a harness style neck strap that distributes the instrument's weight across the user's shoulders. Several different kinds exist, which each distributes weight differently across the saxophonist's neck, clavicle, and shoulder blades. Many marching saxophonists prefer this style for its ability to decrease fatigue. Those who mainly perform seated, on the other hand, may dislike the decreased ability to move one's upper body. Transposition It is a transposing instrument in the key of E flat, pitched an octave plus a major sixth lower than written. It is one octave lower than the alto saxophone. Modern baritones with a low A key and high F sharp key have a range from C2 to A4. Adolf Sax also produced a baritone saxophone in F intended for orchestral use, but these fell into disuse, as the saxophone never became a standard orchestral instrument. As with all saxophones, its music is written in treble clef. By coincidence, it is possible to use a trick known as clef substitution to read music written in bass clef at concert pitch. For example, most tuba or bassoon parts by reading as if it were a transposing instrument. Transposing part in treble clef And pretending there were three more sharps or three f fewer flats in the key signature. A similar trick allows instruments in B flat, like the tenor saxophone, to read concert pitch tenor clef. Classical music. The baritone saxophone is used as a standard member of saxophone quartets. It has also been occasionally called for in music for orchestra. Examples include Richard Strauss's Sinfonia Domestica, which calls for a baritone saxophone in F. Bella Bartok's The Wooden Prince Ballet Music, Charles Ives' Symphony No. 4, composed in 1910-1916, and Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, and An American. In his opera, The Devils of 
Luden. Christoph Penderecki calls for two baritone saxes. Karl Heinz Stockhausen includes a baritone saxophone in Gruppen. It has a comparatively small solo repertoire, although an increasing number of concertos have appeared, one of these being Concerto for Saxophone Quartet and Orchestra by American composer Philip Glass. This is a piece that can be played with or without an orchestra that features the baritone saxophone in the second movement. In jazz music, a number of jazz performers have used the baritone saxophone as their primary instrument. It is part of standard big band instrumentation. The larger bass saxophone was also occasionally used up until the 1940s. As phrased by Alan Cooper from jazzbarrysax.com, used a few times in contemporary classical music, it is especially in jazz that this wonderful instrument feels most comfortable. One of the instrument's pioneers was Harry Carney, longtime baritone saxophone player in the Duke Ellington Band. Since the mid 1950s, Baritone saxophone soloists such as Jerry Mulligan, Cecil Payne, and Pepper Adams achieved fame, while Serge Chaloff was the first baritone saxophone player to achieve fame as a bebop soloist. In free jazz, Peter Brutzman is notable. More recent notable performers include Hamid Bluiet, who has also led a group of baritone saxophone players, John Sermon, Scott Robinson, James Carter, Stephen Doc Kupta, Kupka of the band Tower of Power, Nick Brignola, Gary Smullian, Brian Landris, and Ronnie Cooper. In the avant-garde scene, Tim Byrne has doubled on Barry. Another modern sax Barry sax player is Leo Pellegrino of Lucky Chops and Too Many Zoos. A noted Scottish performer is Joe Temperley, who has appeared with Humphrey Littleton, as well as with the Lincoln Centre Jazz Orchestra. In other music, the baritone sax is an important part of military bands and is common in musical theatre. The baritone sax also plays a notable role in many Motown hits of the 60s and is often in the horn sections of funk, blues, Latin, soul bands, and is used in rock music, although it is not common. 
prominent baritone saxophonists in contemporary American popular music include Stephen Kupka of Tower of Power and Dana Colley of Morphine. Nigerian Afrobeat singer, musician and band leader Fela Kuti typically featured two baritone saxophone players in his band. A few modern non-jazz artists have recently begun to incorporate saxophones into their instrumentation. The LA indie rock band Pits and the Tantrums features both, both an alto and a baritone saxophone in their music. Most recently, their 2016 song Hand Clap from an album of the same name. Both were played by ma band member James King. The Brass House experimental jazz funk group Too Many Zoos is another group that has popularized the baritone saxophone. Originally a New York City subway band, the trio has released three albums and been featured on a TEDx Youth at Budapest segment. In popular culture, Lisa Simpson from the cartoon comedy series The Simpsons plays the baritone sax. That's all for the article on the baritone saxophone. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.